Hey y'all and welcome to Our Green Acres. I'm Teresa. If this is your first time to our channel, we want to tell you a big welcome and we're so glad you're here. If you have not subscribed to our channel yet, we'd love for you to. Also, at the end of all my videos, I put the name of my Facebook home decor page. So I'd love for you to go over and join me there and also go and follow and connect with me on Instagram at Our Green Acres and green ends with an E. So today's video is hosted by Heidi Sonball. She puts out a monthly DIY challenge, and this month it was for a farmhouse related item. We could do one or more items. Um, so the playlist for the DIYs will be in my description box, and also the link to Heidi's channel will also be there. So when you get through with my video, go and check out Heidi's channel, and also go and play the playlist because I know there's going to be some great videos on there. So my inspiration for my farmhouse item was I love vintage drawers. I love them so you can repurpose the drawer and you can decorate it. You know, you can use it for just about any space in your home. So since we cannot go to thrift stores or yard sales right now, where you would most likely find mixed match drawers, um, you know, that have just come out of old dressers and stuff, um, I decided to go get in my in my scrap wood stash that my friend Linda brought me, and I just got um, two, I got six pieces of wood, and I'm going to put the measurements to the wood in the description box and all the supplies that I used, but I basically just tried to find some that were the same size, um, not, not exactly, they were all kind of mix and match, but I got them close, and then the front um, panel is going to be a little bit longer but so the front you know sh of a drawer it can overlap since it's on the front my back one was cracked across the middle and I thought it fit the best so I did want to use it so I just used some wood glue and glued it and then I secured it with some popsicle sticks so that's why you're seeing that on the back of mine and then I'll show you what the bottom looks like but anyway I just added some finial feet to it that I purchased at Lowe's and y'all know I love these feet. I have them all the time in my stash, and I just painted them. You can get two per pack. I think they're less than $3. And then I just put a drawer pull that um, I had that we have, um, we redid our kitchen last year. And so I had these left over, and I also had some a bunch of knobs. <clears throat> so on your drawer, <clears throat> sorry y'all, you could put a drawer pull or you can put you know, a knob, I think a glass knob would be pretty. And then also um, I have these and I pick these up a lot of times when I go yard selling because that's a great place to find hardware, you know, and just um, different types of things that people have taken off of something and you know, they're just getting rid of it and I always pick it up and that way I have it for future projects. But this one also I thought would look good and there was this one, and this one is very heavy, and this isn't necessarily a drawer pull. I think it's mainly, I think it's something that would go like on a, like a door pull for a big door, but anyway, just something big, you know, just however big your drawer is or how ornate you want to make it, something like this I think would be really pretty too, just to give you a couple more little options, but um, so basically I just used wood glue. I did not do any nails or screws or anything in this. I just, y'all know me. I'm as simple as you can get uh, without having to pull out power tools and stuff like that. So I use Elmer's wood glue to attach it all and I glued it in sections and you'll see all that in the video. And then you'll see my high tech clamping system that I used. And I used canned vegetables to clamp it down in some spots and give it some pressure as the, the glue was drying. But you'll see all that in the video. And um, I sanded it with some sandpaper after I painted it. And um, I told y'all my paint stash is getting low for the neutral colors, like I'm out of white and I'm out of cream. And I did have this spray paint. And this is not what I prefer to do on wood. I always like my chalk paint on wood, but this is what I had, so I went with it. So after I sprayed it, it to me, it was a little bit shiny. So I got some sandpaper and just kind of sanded off that shine and got the wood grain to come back through. And then I'm gonna show you a technique in the video of how I took a brown Sharpie and very lightly, you just get your Sharpie and you just barely go across your edges and touch up some of your rough wood grain and just barely uh, touch your Sharpie to the wood. 
and it'll just really leave just like some little brown marks. You know, you don't want to go real heavy and like right on it, but just kind of really very gently. And if you do, if you were to get kind of heavy with your, with your Sharpie when you're distressing it, just get you some sandpaper and just sand over that area. You know, it'll really lighten it up. And in some cases, it's not a real bad spot. It'll actually just take it right off and you can redo it. But I thought this technique turned out really well. And it was a lot easier to me than doing um, a brush um, distress. I am not good with that. I'm not like a good painter. So I don't feel comfortable um, doing that technique. So this to me was a little bit um, easier. And to me, it was a little bit more forgiving. So, um, so anyway, I'm going to stage all this for you and decorate it and show y'all the many uses you can use for it. Of course, I lined it with some, some, um, um, scrapbook paper. You could also use contact paper. Um, just go with whatever your theme is. You know, I'm going to decorate it farmhouse. I'm going to do it a little bit shabby. Um, uh, you just vintage type, you know, you know, I always have these printed out. And I show you, you could put this as a liner if you want to put old sewing notions in it. You know, if you're a traveler, you could do like the world map and line it in that. Put, you know, things from your from your travels in this and, you know, and set it out in your home. And you can always look at it and it just brings back those memories of your trip and stuff. Because that's the kind of things that I like to look at and surround myself with in, in my home. So... Just get creative with your scrapbook paper. Like I say, you can use contact paper. You don't have to use anything. You don't even have to line it if you don't want to because if you have stuff in it, you may not even see the bottom. So that's just totally up to you. But I just wanted to give you those other options. And uh, and I did decorate it um, with the little pull. I did put like a little vintage key on the front when I staged it just to show you, you know, how what little things you can put on the pull to decorate it and, and y'all know in my decorating if you've watched many of my videos at all y'all know that I love um, vintage things and I collect so many um, things and a lot of the things that I collect or have collected are personal items and they're things that have been handed down throughout my family and they bring back really nice memories to me so um, I know that a lot of times um, Y'all have seen these shoes, or and I've had a few people ask me about these shoes, and these were my grandmother's shoes, and these shoes are actually older than I am. I'm 57 years old, so these shoes are older than I am. I think my mom said these, my grandmother had these back in the 1950s, and there's also a handbag that matches it, and I have, I have it also, and when my grandmother passed, my mother got the shoes and the handbag, and she's kept it all these years. And then recently, my mom passed them on to me. So this is the kind of stuff I love to have displayed throughout my home because that reminds me, of course, of my grandmother. And, you know, and my dad, he's passed. And um, this is his shoe shine brush. So just things like this, um, I, I love to decorate with because I remember as a kid, just, just being little, um, my daddy always shined his shoes. And he, used, he always used this brush. So, um, you know, just find memories of things. And then this, I know y'all seen this a lot of times in my videos because I love these pieces, but this was Ben's grandmother's. This was her vanity mirror and a brush. So just things like that, whatever you have that may bring back special memories for you, um, you know, decorate your drawer with it. So I'm going to stage it all for you in the video and just show you different ways of how you can decorate it and when we can all get back out, I'd love to make another one and put some different pulls on it. And y'all know I love those glass door um, doorknobs. I'd love to make one with that. And I'd like to make, you know, some of different colors. I think that elephant gray, I'm out of that right now, but I think the elephant gray would make a really pretty one because I do a lot of, up here in my she shed, I like a lot of the pinks and the grays up here. So anyway, y'all, um, it's getting close to Easter, so I'm going to stage it a little bit with, with a few Easter items. And I also want to tell everybody, Happy Easter. I hope you all have a great weekend, and I hope everybody's doing well. And um, keep the sweet comments coming, y'all. I love talking to y'all, and I feel like all of y'all are my friends. And I just get to know each and, one of, each, each and every one of y'all even more. So I, lo I love that. So y'all keep the comments coming and, and don't forget to go check out Heidi's channel. 
And don't forget to go and play the playlist and look at all the other DIYs. So y'all, I'm going to get on with the video and I hope y'all get some inspiration from it. And I really appreciate y'all watching.